Can you tell what all these words have in common? Date, rain, Friday, paper, great, neighbor, and obey. They all contain a long A sound. But the bad news is that it was spelled seven different ways. In this video, you'll learn how to pronounce the American English long A sound and how to recognize the various long A spellings. We'll also practice this sound in some common words and sentences toward the end of the video, so don't go away. Your language may or may not have a long A sound. But even if it does, the American English version of this sound is likely a bit different from the one in your language. What's important to note is that this sound is actually a diphthong, or a blend of two different vowel sounds. Let's look at the long A sound in detail. You hear both an E eh and an E sound. A. A. Do you hear the glide and the length of the sound? A. Many non-native English speakers substitute the short, simple A eh sound for the A when speaking English, sometimes making it difficult or impossible to understand the word. Here's an example. Can you distinguish between the words pain and pen? Listen closely. Pain, pen. When I make the long A sound, you can clearly see how my mouth moves as I glide from the lower E eh to the higher E sound. A, A. Make sure when you're pronouncing A to include both that first E eh and also the E sound in there. Now listen for it again in the words presented in the introduction. Date, rain, Friday, paper, great, neighbor, obey. Like all English long vowel sounds, there is more than one common spelling for this sound. In fact, there are four very common spellings, plus a few more occasional spellings. One common spelling is A-E with a consonant between those two letters. That consonant could be a T, it could be an S, it could be a K, or a variety of other consonants. But notice there's an A and then there's an E there. And some examples include date, same, exchange, cake, age, and create. Another quite common spelling is AI in words like wait, rain, explain, available, and trail. The AY spelling is generally used for the A sound when it's at the end of words, like in pay, say, today, always, Friday, and maybe. Another common spelling is a single A within a syllable, like in the words baby, paper, behavior, and April. Now once in a while, you'll find an EA spelling with an A pronunciation in the words great, break, and steak. But note that this is a rare spelling for this sound. The typical sound for an EA spelling is E, like in the words eat or see. And an occasional pronunciation for this is E, eh, as in the words bread or head. There are a few words that spell the A with E-I-G-H, like the words neighbor, way, and eight. And then there are also a very few words that spell the A sound with E-Y, like they, obey, hey, survey, and convey. Now let's practice the long A in some sentences. Just repeat after me 
and make sure you're trying to match my rhythm and melody as well as the A sound. That's crazy! Did they say why? That's a great place to stay. It's too late to change the name. We can wait and pay later today. Is that the same game you always play? How about some more practice? Remember that E-I-G-H spelling? Well, it's not always pronounced A. You might want to watch my video on how to pronounce height and weight for more information on that. And I have another video you might like, how to say congratulations. It also includes a long A sound and has a few other difficulties. And it's probably a word you use often if you live in North America. You might also like to compare the long A sound to the short A sound in English. You can find the links to each of these suggested videos in this video's description. As always, please like and share this video. Thanks for watching.